Hi first graders, it is time for our social studies this week. This week we are looking at week 12 of our studies weekly magazine. We'll see this lady and this young girl taking a peek at something. And I think we'll know more about what they're taking a peek at once we get reading here. Go ahead and pause me if you need to so that you can go make sure and grab the week 12 studies weekly magazine. Today we are going to talk about something very fancy called primary sources. And primary sources help us learn about the past. Okay, primary means first. Okay, so keep that in the back of your mind. They come from people who saw or were part of events that happened in the past. So it comes from the first people who were either part of the event or who saw something happen in the past. Types of primary sources. Primary sources are photographs. Okay, we can see there's an older photograph here in the picture. Diaries. A diary is where someone kept like a journal of something that maybe was happening to them or things that they were going through. Drawings. Maps. And the letters. Okay? Sometimes letters help us tell uh, almost a story as to what was happening in a certain time. So, let's learn a little bit more. We have primary sources, like we said, where it's someone who was actually there in the moment. It's one of the first people that saw whatever event it was that happened. Then we have secondary sources, okay? So this woman would be a secondary source taking a peek at a primary source. Secondary sources are made after an event. They are made by people who were not part of the event, okay? So let's say Mrs. Garris wanted to learn more about this woman in the picture, kind of like this lady looks like she's doing. Well, I wasn't there when this picture was taken. I can tell that this picture was taken a very long time ago, and I'm not that old. So I was not there. I'm not a primary source. But if I wanted to create, let's say, a magazine or a book about whatever this event was, I could do that but I'm then considered a secondary source. Types of secondary sources. Secondary sources are magazines, so maybe you read about something in a magazine, a newspaper, and books, okay? We read books or stories all the time about things that actually did happen in real life. So that would be a secondary source. It's the second person to take information from something that happened and put it in something that we can read and learn about. Now it says as a secondary source, a newspaper is a secondary source. A newspaper gives us news. Okay, so let's take a peek a little bit more about news. It says news as a source. The news is a source of information. The news tells us about important events happening around us, right? We have lots of things happening in our world. If you've ever watched the news, maybe with your grown up, you know that there's a lot happening in our communities, in our country, in the world. We use technology to share the news. We use the TV or computer. We might listen to the radio or read the newspaper. So you can see a little clipping right here. This would be a newspaper. Or most often today, we might watch it on TV or use a phone or a tablet or an iPad or a computer to look up the news or watch the news. Okay. I'm over on my last page called fact or fiction. You might have heard one of one or both of these words before. Fact or fiction. Primary and secondary sources can be fact or fiction. So they can be real, that means fact, or fiction, fiction fake. Fact means it really happened and is true. Sometimes we also call fact nonfiction. Fiction means it is made up and not real. Okay? So let's say you take a peek at something, a book, a piece of paper you find in someone's old drawer, or something like that. We can ask some of these questions to help us figure out if it was maybe a secondary or a primary source. Does the source have a title? Who's the author of the source? Is the source fact or fiction? Is it a primary source? Hmm. We can ask ourselves, was this source from the, maybe the first person that went through it or saw the event? I don't know. So boys and girls, today from social studies, I really want you to take this away. A primary source 
is a source like a photograph, diary, drawing, map, or letter. Okay? I want you to go on a hunt. Okay, maybe you'll have to talk to your grown-up about this before you actually go on your hunt. But I want you to try to find your own primary source from the past. So, you can find a photograph, an old photograph. Maybe it's a picture of your grandma or your grandpa when they were younger. Or maybe it's your aunt or your uncle. Or maybe it's you when you were a baby. But it's a primary source that shows in a photograph what happened maybe in a certain event. Or maybe you can find somebody's old diary or a drawing or map or even letters. Maybe you have an old letter from someone in your family or a friend. We want you in social studies today to go ahead and apply this to your life. What primary resources can you find and show your teacher about? We cannot wait to see what you can come up with here. Remember, you're looking for a photograph, diary, drawing, a map, or a letter that tells something about the past in your family or in your life, okay? There is an activity on the back where you can find a book or a source of some sort and you can answer those questions about it, but you don't have to do that part. What we're gonna want to see on Seesaw is your primary source. What cool thing can you dig out of the past to show us and tell us about? Good luck, we can't wait to see what you come up with.